Hi guys. Um, I was very happy to receive the little letter that the TED group sent me. They sent me a little letter with an image of them wearing their cute little uniforms. And I haven't been back here since I um, came, since I was going to this school. And it reminded me of the fact that I hadn't been back here in seven years. And it reminded me that I cherish this school and what it taught me. Um, when I came, for the first time in seven years to meet with this group, I started just walking around the school just to rem remember what this, what, what this thing was. Um, and there was one specific place that when I was here was not a big deal for me, but it gained a lot of sig significance when I, was, when I came back. And that's the quiet room in the library. So back when I was coming here a little while ago, the quiet room was basically a place for the premiers and the terminales to kind of study. But ironically, um, it was the only place where you could get away with talking because it's insulated and there's basically you can't, there's a big glass uh, window that just like holds in the sound. So what that created is that the terminales and the premiers could like talk freely inside of this quiet room, whereas outside in the book, in, in like the area with all the books, you ended up having, you know, being screamed at if you talked or if you were flirting with someone and then, you know, it got complicated. Um, so when I came back and saw this quiet room, I realized that, that it was the, kind of the kernel of what I kind of got from this school, which is that I was always trying to talk where I, where there was silence, and I was always trying to be silent when I should have been, should have been talking. And there's something kind of creative, uh, there's a creative spark about the constraints that the school gives you. Um, there's something that's very, there are very strict symbols that you can kind of either go against or go with. For example, the uniform, or, well, I can get into other things, but maybe not today. Um, ironically, I'm literally dressed like all of you during the week now. So clearly that, that, stuck, that stuck with me. Um, these things that I wanted to rebel against when I was coming here ended up being extremely, um, uh, sparked a lot of kind of creative juices inside of me. And that is something that I will cherish forever. Um, Monsieur Talora came here when we were rehearsing on Thursday and he told me that he had done a million push-ups in like the past s seven years or something. I was very impressed, he's looking really good. Um, but he told me very seriously, he said, don't insult your body, right? Um, and I'm, I kind of started thinking about the quiet room again. And the fact that now it's just the office for the IT department. So there's not even the space anymore. There's no more space in a way. We're losing space. We're losing this quiet room. We're losing this silent and yet extremely creative and loud room that we used to have. And similar to Mr. Talaha when he says, don't insult your body, I want to tell you guys to don't insult your creativity and your minds and always try to find a place, a quiet room in which you can talk. Thank you.